my life. This is my passion. This is Ike's Outdoors. Hey guys, Ike here from Ike'sOutdoors.com. I'm here today to show you the Otter Box Pursuit Series Dry Box. Uh, this is a 40. There's several different ones on there, several different models. This is a Pursuit Series 40. Um, and like I said, this is a dry box plus a whole lot more. Um, it's got a nice latch here on the side. I've um, got a tether right here, which you can see is coming undone, right there, that you can put on, so you can put this on your belt. It's got a spot for a carabiner, so you can use that uh, as well. It's got a nice hinge on it, good durable plastic coating to it. I'm going to take that off because it's making a lot of noise. Um, good durable construction to it, really anything you get from OtterBox. Everything that I've got so far has been very, very durable and very solid built. Um, we got a nice webbing inside here. I've got nothing in this thing right now except the pin, but we got a nice webbing inside here to hold whatever you want to hold. Um, cell phone, got my play sport, you know, I, I can put that in there. Uh, matches, just GPS, whatever kind of stuff you, you need to keep dry and you need to keep safe from impact. Um, this is going to be a very, very good box to do that. Um, so, like I said, this is the Pursuit Series. This one's the 40. And this one is available in black, blue, and gray. Has a really nice latch on this thing right here on the side. Easy to operate. Really sucks that thing down nice and tight. So pretty good, pretty good latch system on it. Like I said, inside we've got a, a cradle over here that's padded on this side. It's not really padded, but it's got a nice place to it. And then a web series over here, you can you can hook, unhook this thing just like that and put whatever you need in there. So that's a nice feature as well. Uh, the dimensions on this is um, 2.05 height, so when this is closed up, you got 2.05 inches on that, uh, 4.75 width, got that across here, 6.95 in length, so uh, this has 30 cubic inches of space inside of it. So it's kind of a small box, but you can notice, I've noticed that I've been able to put quite a bit of stuff in here if I organize it inside right. Uh, so very, very good, good box, and like I said, this thing, get the numbers here, I got it written down. Uh, <clears throat> I can get my paper organized. This thing is drop resistant, so you can drop it. Of course, I'm just dropping it on the ground, but uh, it's dust and debris resistant, so anything you put in here is going to free, be free of dust and debris. So that's, of course, a, a nice sealed up box. It's going to keep everything out of there. Um, water resistant up to 100 feet. So you get this thing into 100 foot of water. Uh, you know, after 100 foot of water, it may or may not leak, but up to 100 foot of water, it's probably not going to leak. It's, it's water resistant up to 100 feet. Uh, crush resistant up to a thousand pounds, so that's pretty good. This thing can be ran over, uh, you know, by an ATV or something like that that weighs less than a thousand pounds, or hit, you know, uh, it's going to withstand some impact because it's so strong. So very, very uh, resistant to being dropped, being crushed, anything like that. So if I drop it out of my tree stand, it's probably not going to hurt it. And I can tell you right now. This thing is tough. This thing is tough as nails. I, I like this little case. It's awesome to, for me to just throw in my day pack, especially like when I go trout fishing. Uh, when I go trout fishing, I go to a place locally around here called Jolly Mills. And when I go trout fishing, um, I basically just jump in the water and go. So I'm, I can be up to the water. Most of the time it's not over my waist, but there are times when it gets over my waist. And of course I, I wear a vest, but I can take this box. I can throw all my gear in here as far as like my wallet and everything like that with my fishing license in it, my cell phone. I can throw all that right here in this box. I can keep this thing right here inside my vest and it's gonna keep it dry, it's gonna keep it waterproof. Even if it's down here on my hip and it gets the water gets over it, it's gonna keep it safe. And of course, when I'm out trout fishing, there's times, up there at Jolly Mills, there's a big rock shelf that goes all the way across it. And when you're walking across it, it gets slick. And I fell on it more than once. So, if I've got this thing in my pocket and I fall and I land on this thing, everything inside of it's going to be safe. I mean, I'm a, I'm, I'm a little overweight, but a thousand pounds, I, it definitely ain't going to hurt this thing. So, I can fall on it, I can drop it, I can get it wet, I can do that, all that stuff. And my wallet, my cell phone, 
all that stuff like that that I put in here is going to be safe. I really like keeping my matches in here, uh, you know, because matches is a fire starting tool. If I'm if I go out there at Jolly Mills and I get way back in there, which is pretty easy to do, and I slip on one of those rocks and break my leg, I can crawl out of the water, and even if I don't get cell phone reception, I can at least start a fire. You know, I can keep my matches in here, and I've got so, at least a good survival tool. Some places down there I get reception, but other places, of course, I don't, so my cell phone's not, may or may not be uh, a good tool down there, but at least I've got some stuff in here, uh, you know, my matches in here, so I can at least start a fire, and I know with this box that they're going to be dry. So I really, really like that aspect of it. And of course, it translates right over to hunting as well. Anything I want to keep in this thing uh, dry, I want to keep it safe. You know, uh, you can. I can. Dro I've dropped my bag down the side of a mountain before. You know, and I know if I've got my cell phone and stuff in here, rather than just loose in the bag, that it's going to be safe and it's going to be protected. I can also clip this thing, use this piece right here, and I can put this right on my belt. I can put the the carabiner on there, which I've just got a cheap little carabiner. Um, I can put that on there, and I can hook this thing right up to my vest, to my side, to my whatever, and I know my stuff that's important to me is going to be safe and it's going to be protected from the elements. So, like I said, this is the Series 40 case, uh, Pursuit Series. This is the 40. They make a couple different um, couple different sizes. They've got the 20, and, and a, I think that's about it, but they've got all kinds of different dry boxes like this, and different shapes, different sizes that you're going to find one that's going to fit your particular need. Um, so very very nice boxes the water resistant element to it is very good the crush resistance you know up to a thousand pounds that's awesome it's gonna really take some abuse before it it before this thing fails you you know it's really gonna take a lot of abuse really like the construction of it the hooks on the end you know you can you can do a lot of stuff with this box and it's gonna keep the stuff that's important to you safe so uh, check this out we'll put a link right here and we'll put a link directly to the website down in the description below uh, definitely check this out. We've also reviewed the Otter Box um, uh, iPad or a case for Kindle, t iPad, tablet, stuff like that. So we checked that out. Uh, it's a Defender Series case. We're getting ready to do one on an iPhone as well. So uh, very, very good stuff from Otter Box. Very tough. A lot of you guys can attest to it. If you haven't tried Otter Box, definitely worth the investment, worth the money. Definitely going to keep your stuff, stuff safe and dry. So check this out at the website below for more product reviews, how-to videos. You can check out our website, and that's ikesoutdoors.com. Appreciate you guys watching.